Well, hello everyone. Um, this is lockdown in Canberra. Surprisingly busy out here. It's the first nice day of the spring. It is the first day of spring actually. Uh, 23 degrees out here at the moment. I've got this Scott mountain bike, which I took on the last bikepacking trip. Uh, I've had a little bit of damage to the chainstay there. But it's got an eight speed drive train and I managed to wear out a chain in a single trip of 350k or so, which is that last bikepacking trip. Um, so I'm wondering if I can upgrade this drivetrain on the cheap because this is not an expensive bike and I don't want to spend too much on it. So what I'm thinking is I might just try and put a 9-speed chain on here. I've heard that it can work. Um, what I've read is that it just improves shifting a little bit um, because the chain's a little narrower. If I just grab the chain checker, we'll just pop that in here at the moment. That's showing... It's past 0.5. Uh, there you go. It's at... Uh, well, it's almost at 100% worn. I'm not going to change this cassette, I'm just going to stick a 9-speed nine, nine chain on here and see what happens. My only concern is with this um, front derailleur, possibly pushing over and pulling back might be a bit more difficult with the narrower chain. That's your 8-speed chain there. Regardless, I'll just uh, give it a go and see what happens. These have a lot more um, durability than the 8-speed chains. Um, testing I've seen shows that they're more than twice as durable as the 8-speeds. Alright, 9 speed chain on an 8 speed drivetrain. What we've got to do now is just check that it's shifting properly. Now the reason I didn't go for a 10 speed chain but for a 9 speed chain instead is because if this chain was any narrower it would actually fit between the two cogs on this this front um, chain rings. It seems to be shifting okay into most of these gears. I'm not too worried about it. I think that's going to work nicely. I'll give it a ride and see what happens. All right, let's see how this shifts. Uh, had some issues already. It's less tension. So what are we in now? Third, second, first. I'm in mid-range by the way. Second. Seems to be shifting okay now that I've released some tension. We're about under power. Hearing a little bit of noise. Up into the mid range again. I 
Alrighty. Let's try these gears out all the way. So I'm low range second right now. Low range third. Fourth. Fifth. Oh, fifth struggled a little bit. I think it, yeah, it's got too much tension. Let's release a little bit. Mid range fifth. Sixth. Seven, that went well. High range seven. High range eight. High range seven, six, fifth. Range fifth, mid range four, third, second, low range second, front driver almost struggled a bit there. Well, perhaps that answers the question. Can you run a nine speed chain on an eight speed drivetrain? I think you can. Bear in mind this bike was already having minor shifting issues, even with an eight speed chain, because that hanger was a little bent. But the shifting's pretty good now, even with the nine speed chain. So there you go, bit of extra durability on the chain. I've, um, I've taken a nine speed chain to 4000K before. Whereas I know, I know they're recommended for 2000 because you're supposed to replace them at 50% wear. Whereas eight speed chains are half that from what I understand. So, it's a simple way to upgrade your mountain bike or other bike, hybrid, whatever. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.